For those of you that are new to social media marketing, it's basically a marketing role where you use social media to help businesses or individuals market their products, services, or even just themselves. And you can do this on whatever social media platform you want to. So TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, etc. I have officially made over $400,000 as a social media marketing manager in the past couple of years. I have also recently hit my first $20,000 month in revenue in my business and I receive payouts like this, this and this from high ticket clients every single month which is honestly a lot more than my medical field relatives make. I actually started to dabble in this world of social media marketing five years ago when I was doing my university studies. For me, it was just something that I started experimenting with for fun and not for the money when I started a YouTube channel for my little brother with cerebral palsy. However, it's only been in the last couple of years that I went all in on making this my entire career. And I can't tell you enough how much it's been absolutely life-changing. The money I make as a social media marketing manager is a more than I could have ever imagined in my life. And the best thing is I only spend around 25 hours per week running this business. And I get to do that from the comfort of my own home or wherever in the world that I want to be. This role has allowed me to experience living in Istanbul, in Antalya, Turkey, in Amman as a digital nomad, which honestly has been one of the most exciting things to do in my entire life. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you a 10 step process all the way from starting out as a social media a marketing manager with no experience in marketing all the way to getting high ticket clients like I do and building up your experience which was basically where I started when I was 20 years old. I'll also be sharing some additional hacks that I learned along the way that will have a huge impact on your results and just speed up your process and get you to where you want to be much quicker than I did. And at the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some free resources that I used to start my journey and I think could be also really useful for you to use. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I honestly think social media marketing is one of the best careers that you can get into. It's something that you can start really small at as a side hustle alongside your nine to five or even your university studies, which is what I did. And then it can be evolved into a full-time freelancer career, or you could even take it further and create an entire agency, which is what I'm currently working on doing right now. This business model is honestly so versatile and the amount of income you can make from it is unlimited. It also has a super low startup costs as the only expenses you'll have are things like a laptop and some basic software. You can literally start it from your bedroom which is what I did and it's also super in demand 91% of businesses use social media as part of their marketing strategy and they're always on the lookout for new talent to help them take their social media to the next level I literally at this point today have a wait list of businesses that want to work with me that I just haven't managed to get to yet because I'm at full capacity another really great thing about this role is you can start making money with no experience because different businesses are looking for different skill sets and sometimes what they want or need is something really basic that almost anyone can do if they use social media day to day as a consumer. There's honestly 101 other reasons I could sit here and talk about all day of why you should get into social media marketing but that's not what this video is about. So without further ado, let's get into how you can become a social media marketing manager. Okay, step number one. If you wanna become a really good social media marketing manager, then you need to know that the learning never stops. Social media is honestly ever-changing and evolving. So to be the best that you can be and to impress your future clients or your potential clients and to make sure that you're getting the results that you need for your clients, you need to set aside time for learning every single single week. Now, if you're a total beginner in all of this, you really do need to get your studious hat on right now and put in a little bit of extra effort to understand the platforms that you want to work on. And honestly, you can do this for free. For me, I have never spent a penny on learning about social media marketing. Everything I know to date is from YouTube videos, from podcasts, from free courses, and then obviously experimenting with the platforms myself. That's probably where you're going to learn most of your knowledge. So what I would encourage you to do from now is create a separate YouTube account and only subscribe to channels that share educational content around social media marketing and marketing in general. This will basically help give you access to a free library of unlimited videos around social media marketing and marketing. I will link 10 of my favorite YouTubers below that talk about marketing and social media marketing so that you can go and subscribe to them when you make that new account. 
And of course, that list will include myself because I also share a lot of educational content around social media too. I also have a free social media starter kit, which will probably be useful to you too. Again, the link to that will be in my description below. It includes a trend spotting toolkit, which will help you stay up to date with all the latest trends on Instagram and TikTok. It includes some recording guidelines, over 50 ChatGPT prompts, a list of 35 B-roll ideas, and 45 effective call to action ideas. You probably don't know what half of that stuff is now, but you will learn and you should really download this starter kit. Step two is I want you to start experimenting yourself on the social media platform that you want to work with so you can start building up experience without ever having clients. There's no use watching hundreds of YouTube videos if you're not going to practice what you've learned. Half of your learning will be into being hands-on and you need to be doing this as early as possible so you can learn as fast as possible. And you can also use the results you get from this to put into your portfolio later on when you're ready. Now you can do this by starting off either your own social media account that is obviously public and that you're going to use to practice growth or you can start doing it for a family member or a friend that has a business and do it for free just to have fun with and to experiment with. For me, I started with my little brother's account and I honestly learned so much by putting into practice what I've learned. I built his TikTok account to over 30,000 followers in just under three months. Honestly, by trial and error and trying new and different things and then implementing whatever I learned, making mistakes and just figuring it out. I think I learned more from practicing on his account, even more so than watching YouTube videos. And then it was also super useful for me that I had built up his account within the first few months because then I used that as a reference when I would pitch to potential clients and I was able to put that in my portfolio and show the work I've done with him, making it more likely for me to get hired. Another bonus tip I would give is to do a lot of mindful scrolling on social media. Mindful scrolling is where you scroll on social media, not just to consume content, but with the intention to learn. When you scroll on social media and you decide to skip an entire post, not even bother reading it, or maybe when you decide to stop, pause and look at that post, really try to understand why you did that. From mindful scrolling, you can understand what made you stop scrolling, what type of content is easily digestible. You can understand different layouts or edit styles of the content. And also you can start saving any posts that you'd like to take inspiration from later on. And then you can keep them in the save library on the app that you're using for you to go back to whenever you're actually planning content. I do this all the time and I constantly use content that I found from mindful scrolling as inspiration for my clients' content. Now let's move on to the good stuff. Step three is setting up your services. As a social media marketing manager, you want to figure out what services that you want to offer when you're first starting out. There are so many different roles that you can get into. There's content strategy, content design, copywriting, video editing, content creation, community management, the list just goes on and on and on. My advice though is when starting out, you want to provide an all round service for small businesses for their social media content. Small businesses would much rather rely on one single person for all of the main components of social media management than having to hire lots and lots of people for different roles because one, that's expensive and two, that's difficult to manage. So what this would include would be something like doing their content strategy and then their content creation. So you would design all of their posts do the basic video editing for all of their posts, plan all of their posts, and then obviously it would be the caption writing, the scheduling, the hashtags, and all the extra little bits. For design, Canva is super easy to use and really good if you're a beginner. For editing, you can use CapCut, again, super easy to use. And then for copywriting, let ChatGPT help you out there. But don't rely on it too heavily because once you do, it starts to get really repetitive and sounds super generic and it's just the worst nightmare for engagement. And then if you want to, you can also add community management to your services where you reply to DM, to reply to comments, etc. and do engagement. However, I personally have just never done this because it's not something I was really ever interested in or wanted to do. So that's just totally like up to you. Step four is setting up your pricing structure. Once you've figured out all of your services, you really need to think about your pricing and how much you're going to charge. Now, as a social media marketer, my pricing structure has changed more times than I can count. So you don't need to set it in stone right now. It's something you can experiment with and play with. 
But in general, you have three options. Number one is you can charge by the hour for your services. This is a simple way to start, especially for smaller projects or clients that don't require full time or a lot of social media management. Number two is you can set a fixed monthly rate for ongoing management, so like a retainer. Or, and this is what I went with, is you can create specific packages that include different services and different amounts of content. For example, you can have a basic package, a standard package, and a premium package. Package. In terms of how much you should be charging your client exactly, I'll be completely honest with you, as a beginner and starting out, your prices are not going to be sky high and making you millions. You want to begin on the lower end as you build up your experience and build up your portfolio. Charging lower rate is a great way to attract those first few clients and also get that real world experience. You probably don't have a strong portfolio at this time, but charging lower rates will help you build that and solve that issue. But you want to make sure that you are level up your prices and you don't stay in that lower bracket for too long so set some milestones for yourself for example one of your milestones could be once I secure three to five clients I'm going to increase my rates by 30% or after I've worked with a single client for six months and I've seen so and so results I'm going to increase my rates to this much setting goals like that will help you also hold yourself accountable to level up when I first started I would charge around $500 a month to do a whole content plan for a client of around 16 posts so that would be everything from design content strategy copywriting and hashtags and scheduling however now I'm much more experienced and I have an extensive portfolio to back up all of my skills and obviously I'm way more confident now that I can actually bring my clients results which is why I know my prices now are worth the investment a bonus tip for when you've got a little bit more experience is to base your price point on your dream life so what you want to do is base your pricing structure off of making sure that at full capacity you're happy with the total income amount and that you're able to live your dream life on that amount so for example let's say that you want to earn five thousand dollars a month at full capacity and at that capacity you can manage three major clients a month then you'll want to price their package at around 1700 a month in total doing it like that is a really great way to understand how to structure your pricing step number five is how to actually get clients and honestly there's so many ways to do this and it's a lot easier than you would think my first few clients were actually people that I knew or people that my friends and family knew people that were willing to take a chance on me and give me an opportunity in return I charged them quite a discounted price for my service and then I also went above and beyond to make sure that I was doing a good job for them doing it like this with someone you know is honestly a great arrangement when you're first starting out my first real client was a friend of my dad's who had a forex trading company and he bought one of my packages for I think around 400 pounds a month so $500 which honestly as a university student was not bad money for me I was earning that same amount working weekends at a cake shop anyway this gave me an opportunity to build my portfolio and practice what I've been learning step six would be to also approach local businesses this is again something that I did to get my first few clients I literally went door to door of a lot of local businesses in my area and then I also spent a lot of time DMing these businesses on Facebook on Instagram and and emailing them. I think when starting out, because you're so new and you have little to show for yourself, local businesses that are close to you is a gold mine. Because number one, you can arrange to meet them in person so that trust with the business owner is built so much faster rather than doing it all online. And honestly, what I found is local business owners are more likely to be willing to take a chance on people within their own community. So that could be local cafes, gyms, beauty salons, dentists, you name it, any type of of local business in your area however a bonus tip again would be when reaching out to them be really personable that will gain their attention send them a personalized message on social media or via email however you're going to do it or even calling them up mentioning a very specific thing that you like about their business you could have even used their service before and then you can share your own story 
and how you'd like to collaborate with them. Step number seven is to use freelancer platforms. Another way of getting clients after you've already gotten a little bit of experience with the methods that I've just mentioned is with freelancer platforms. I've actually made a significant amount of my income from the freelancer platform Upwork. I've made over $100,000 on this platform. I have a whole video on how to use Upwork and how I found so much success on the platform on my YouTube channel. I will also link that in the description below for you to go ahead and watch after you finish this video. This platform actually helped me grow tremendously as a social media marketing manager. And I probably got my first few high ticket clients from the platform. It's helped me expand my portfolio. I've also got a bunch of referrals from this platform. So I've worked with clients who then referred me to other people to work with. And I probably made half, if not more of my income from this platform. Step number eight, and one I can't stress on enough is to build your own personal brand. Another really powerful step that I've taken in the last year myself and has completely changed the trajectory of my business and it's allowed me to charge much higher prices for my services and it's made me just stand out amongst all other social media managers and that is building my own personal brand on social media. Honestly, the biggest brands out there, they want to see that as a social media marketing manager, you are implementing your own learnings on your own brand and you can prove that, oh, if it works for me, I can definitely make it work for you. I have honestly lost count of the amount of messages I've had from clients telling me that the reason they chose to work with me is because I am on social media myself. And the fact that I'm on social media myself basically reaffirms that I know my stuff and I know what I'm doing. It also really gives your potential clients an opportunity to get to know you before even reaching out to you or you reaching out to them. I actually have a whole video on how to build your personal brand on my YouTube channel. So again, I will link that in the description below if you want to watch it after this video, which I highly recommend you do. And building my personal brand is honestly something that I wish I started earlier and I feel like it could have fast tracked my growth in my business much faster if I had did it a long time ago. However, I only started my personal brand probably just over a year ago and it's changed my life. Life. Step number nine, once you start to get comfortable and you have a few clients that you're working with and you feel like you're ready to grow even more, if you're not at this point yet, it's totally fine, but you can come back to this video when you are, you want to start thinking about outsourcing. Outsourcing is what has got me from the 5K months to the 10 to 20K months. I went from having about four to five clients. I was at full capacity working 40 hours a week, unable to take time off and having to do everything by myself. And then I was also also at an earning capacity of between five and six K because I had no more free time to do anything else or take on any more clients to now where I have a team of around six, I believe some full time, some part time. And now I've shifted on from more of a social media marketing manager to more of a project manager and manager of the business role. And now I have more time to focus on other things in my business, like growing it and getting more clients. I can also actually take time off and I'm not working 40 hours a week on my business. I'm also also able to increase my prices because I have experts on my team that are better than me at certain aspects of my business. For example, I have video editors on my team that are 10 times better video editors than me. And then obviously my time is spent improving the business and improving the systems and improving the experience for my clients. I have been growing my team for about a year now and this is how I find my team members. I put a job post on my social media for what I'm looking for and then I run an ad on it in the location that I want my freelancer to be for. From. We tend to look for freelancers and people that we want to bring on our team in Jordan because number one, that's where my husband is from. And number two, when you hire in the Middle East, you can find equally talented professionals at much more affordable rates than here in the UK or in the US which means it's more profitable for you and you can also scale much faster. This flexibility can really help you optimize your budget, but still maintain really high standards for your business. Or you can even look on other freelancer platforms like Upwork to find people that you can outsource to. Step number 10 and the last step to really top it all off and become an exceptional social media marketing manager or business owner, which you could have transitioned into by now, is to build processes for everything and use tools where you can to make your job easier and more efficient. You want your business to be organized, you want it to be tidy, and you want it to be easy to run. You also want it to be easy for your clients. So that means doing things like choosing a central place for all communication with your clients. 
That can be emails, it could be Slack, it could be WhatsApp, whatever you prefer. I use WhatsApp business. You need to have things like an invoice generator to generate invoices. There's a really good free one on the internet, which I will link in the description below for you to use as a template to send invoices. You want to have content calendars and content boards to keep all of your clients' content organized and tidy and have a system in place for it. I also have a template for this that you can buy, which I will add to the description below. You also want to find a good scheduling tool to use. I use later, but there's loads of others. I think there's also one called Hootsuite. And then you want to have a central workplace for you and your team and your clients all to work on and collaborate together. For this, I use Notion. Again, I actually have a whole video on my top favorite content creation tools. I'll link that in the description below. I mean, you already have so many other videos to watch after this one. Like your mind is going to be full of knowledge after you go through this content marathon that I keep recommending to you. Using tools, free tools, Tools and paid tools have honestly helped me save so much time as a social media marketing manager. And it's made me so much better at my job because now I can focus on the really important stuff. So I do recommend you do your research and you learn about tools. It's a huge important factor of being a social media marketing manager. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, then look at you because I'm actually going to also link in a bunch of free courses that I personally took when I started as a social media marketing manager that really helped me grasp what what marketing is. So I want you to go ahead and look at that. I will link it in the description below. And if you did find this video useful, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really helps with the growth of my channel. And if you'd like more videos around becoming a social media manager, then let me know in the comments below and let me know what type of content you'd like to see because I'd be really down to create more content like this if there's a need or a want for it. And with that, I shall see you next week if you're subscribed.